a le grip. And he's in. Welcome to Roman Navarro's backyard, Chile's Punta de Lobos. The chilly waters of the Pichilimu region helped turn Ramon into Chile's feather and the first person to surf in the much icy of Antarctica. Sea was a good seaweed to have fun, but I didn't know that these waves I'd seen all my life could be ridden, and I was lucky because I found it very easy. But his biggest challenge might be at home. Conservationists say beachfront developers are illegally blocking access to the sea, not just for surfers, but small-scale commercial fishermen. The state doesn't own the land near the beaches, it's private property, so you have to reach agreements with the owners. Often authorities can't afford to compete financially and can't always pass the legislation to turn these areas into national parks. And yet surfing is a big economic driver. A 2014 study found it can generate up to six and a half million dollars a year for Pichilimu's 14,000 people in a country where the average monthly wage is only around $1,200. Ramon is also an environmental activist who has helped raise a quarter of a million dollars to preserve and protect a strip of Chile's coastline from development. My vision of the sea isn't just that you get in and you ride a wave. It's different. You need to understand how this wave came to be and to understand that if we take care of this place, this wave has economic potential for the region, the city and the fishermen. At least Ramon's cherished point break at Punta de Lobos is safe for the moment. It's been bought by an owner who's agreed to give it to Ramon's foundation so these waves can produce Chile's next surfing star. Owen Fairclough, CCTV. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.